This is the 2022 ministerial retreat of the Federal Minister of Transportation. Critical stakeholders in the transportation sector are at the Ibom Icon Hotels and Golf Resort in Uyo, the Akwaibom State Capital, to examine the successes and challenges in the sector and develop realistic strategies to address them. First, the Minister of State for Transportation gives an update on ongoing efforts by the Buhari administration in the development of the sector. The transportation facilitates the flow of goods, services and movement of people on different modes along various corridors, linking the different points of activities, thereby promoting development, facilitating social interaction and integration among humans. Though a lot still needs to be done for Nigeria, to take full advantage of its MVB position as a giant in the West African subregion and Africa at large. For the Minister of Transportation, the retreat provides an opportunity for participants to discover more areas of cooperation to improve the sector. This event offers an enabling platform for us to collectively examine our successes and challenges as a sector and develop realistic strategies to address our flows. He also sheds light on the Lagos Calabar Rail Line project as well as the National Development Plan 2021 to 2025 for the transportation sector. As it is now, the ministry has identified a company, an investor, that is willing to fund the project and we are in talks with that company on the basis of sharing the scope of work between them and the company that has the contract, which is CCECC. The executive director, finance and administration, Nimasa, pledges his agency's commitment to contribute in ensuring better performance of the transportation sector. He's talked about this teamwork and harmonious relationship between the management and the board. In Nimasa, that's exactly what we try to do to ensure that uh, the board and the management, you know, is acting in concert with the directives of the uh, ministry and the federal government of Nigeria. The participants are expected to emerge from this retreat stronger and better positioned to ensure greater efficiency in the nation's transportation sector.